Hey everyone, we're gonna be taking a look at some TacLife measurement tools today. TacLife contacted me and asked to send some of their uh, samples over for review. And I already had this one on my wish list, so I said, why not? Uh, I'll do the internet a service uh, since they're primarily an Amazon vendor and give some hands-on feedback on some of these tools. So we've got digital calipers, digital angle finder, digital protractor, and a digital height gauge we're gonna take a look at. And if you only wanna see info on a specific one of these, the timestamps for each section are in the bottom of the video description. The digital calipers are the only ones of these tools that actually comes with its own hard case. Uh, it's nice for storing you know, something, it's a precision instrument so it doesn't get banged around. Uh, the measuring parts of this and the rails are all stainless. Uh, this little digital setup here is plastic though with the housing. Uh, it's got three buttons on it. You've got your on off, uh, your zero for when you want to actually make sure it's at zero, and then you can switch between inches uh, and to the thousandths. You can switch to fractional inches to the 128th, and then you can switch to uh, millimeters to the hundredth. You can also use this locking knob to keep your measurement from changing, uh, and then you've got your fine adjustment wheel to move with minimal force up and down the length of this. When you need to switch the batteries out, you've got this compartment right here. You just gotta get your fingernail in it. And it's got a uh, button style battery. It's a CR2032 three volt lithium ion cell. Uh, they're pretty common. So accuracy. Um, when I initially got this, I was double checking it with my old vernier caliper, which is very accurate. Um, it's, it's older than I am, but it's difficult to read because you got to line up the, the numbers with these, you know, one through 25 tick marks uh, with the closest one it's at. So it takes a lot longer to read with this one. Uh, this, I, I kept checking the measurements with that thing for the first little bit until I, I learned I, I can actually trust this. So uh, I've got a setup block here, which is exactly one by two by three inches. Um, we'll go ahead and see uh, how well this measures. Exactly one, exactly two, three, and there it is, exactly three. So you can see this is plenty accurate. Uh, you can do outside measurements here, you can do inside measurements, you can do a step measurement uh, like that, and then you can do an inside depth measurement uh, like this. So great calipers, uh, a really good value for these. Um, overall, very, very accurate. All right, this little mini digital protractor uh, is a solid metal construction. It's really compact. Uh, it has really strong magnets on the bottom. It's great for setting up table saw blades. Uh, it comes with a little felt pouch. Uh, it gets sawdust all over it. I don't think I'll probably keep using that. Um, but it's the only other one of these that does come with some sort of case. Uh, so you can see it's got an on-off button, a percent grade versus degrees, uh, a calibrate button, and a hold button for your last measurement. So we're going to calibrate this to the table saw surface. Just hit the calibrate button. Now it's got zero degrees. And that, well, now it's got 0.1 degrees. Can't make up its mind. Okay, it's calibrated. And this, you can see the square says the saw blade is perfectly square. Uh, I've used multiple squares uh, to all show. This is a perfectly square saw blade. So, if we put it up here, we should get 90 degrees. Uh, we get 89.8.7. So it's between 0.2 and 0.3 degrees off, and you can see there's actually quite a bit of settling time with this. Uh, most other ones I've used of these are immediate. Um, so this one takes a while to figure out where it's actually at. Uh, so it, it also doesn't have a backlight, so it makes it harder to read. Um, and it does use uh, the, the batteries. It uses three of those CR2032 batteries. Uh, instead of triple A's, so I think that's because of the size of this, and I guess it's kind of nice that all the other tools that TacLife has use those same batteries. Uh, they're just going to be a little bit more expensive than triple A's. Um, so this one's not the greatest uh, because you see it's 0.3 degrees off. It's a little bit slow. Uh, the one thing it does have going for it, it's one of the cheapest ones uh, of these little digital angle gauges that I've ever found. Um, so that's really the only thing it has going for it. Otherwise, I'd recommend getting something a little bit nicer for probably 10 to $20 more. One nice thing this does do, uh, if you flip it over, um, most of these do this, the display will actually invert for you and you can see these little arrows will tell you which way to go to get to level. Digital Protractor is really easy to use. Uh, it's just got its on off button and a zero button. So hit on, 
hit on. There we go. Uh, and you get zero degrees. If you want to zero it, I suggest putting it on its edge and hitting zero, and that'll give it uh, both of them lined up. Uh, you can open it and spin it around. It'll go to 360, uh, and then it'll go to 720. There's really no slip here. If you go around again, uh, past 1,000 degrees, it'll go and it just drop the first digit, so you get 1080 like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and re-zero that. Uh, and then let's set this up. Uh, let's set this up to 108 degrees, and we'll draw uh, a pentagon, just a little bit more interesting than a square. One thing to note: the the lock button here does end up turning it a little bit, so you might want to set it just a little bit shy of what your actual goal is. So I set it to 107.9 and turned it and it added a tenth of a degree. Uh, so now it's locked down in the position we want. Note the inches increase from the center. Uh, the centimeters go up this way and up this way. So you get one continuous measurement with centimeters and you get measuring from the center out with inches. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a roughly two inch per side pentagon and see if the sides meet up. Uh, I'm going to just go, go to the two inch mark. It's a little bit more because these don't meet at zero uh, with the angle I have it at right now. So we'll go out to the two inch mark for each of these. All right, and look at that. This thing is spot on. So overall, I think this is a great little tool. It's a little finicky to get locked down, but it's not too bad after that. Uh, and then for your battery, if you push this little tab right here, it pops out on this side and it uses the same CR2032 battery that all the other ones do. It's just a little tricky to get out of there um, when it's up next to the ruler. You gotta get your fingernails in there. There we go. It's got a little plastic sled and you just pop it right back in. The only minor complaint I have about this is the way it's designed, you're always going to have one leg that's not flat on the surface you're working on. Uh, but if they had designed it otherwise, where you could have it, uh, both of them have a flat surface on your workpiece, um, then you couldn't rotate it 360 degrees continuously around. All right, so this digital depth gauge is actually a really handy tool. Uh, it's great for table saw setups and router bit setups uh, for depth of cut or offset of cut if you want to put it sideways on a router table. Um, and it's got just three buttons. It's got an on-off button, a incremental absolute button, and a millimeters, inches, and fractional inches button. So uh, if you want to zero it, you can get this on a flat surface uh, and just put the ruler against the, the, the bottom. Uh, and then you hit, if you're in absolute mode, you hit on-off button once. If you hold it down, it'll turn it off. But if you just hit it once, it'll zero it out. Uh, then you can take a measurement. Uh, and if, say if you wanted, uh, we got three quarters of an inch because we're in fractional inches, the, the inch sign is blinking. If we wanted to put it in absolute millimeters uh, and then in fractional inches or in decimal inches. Um, I like to have it in fractional because I use a lot of fractions in woodworking. Um, so if you want to re-zero it on this, but you don't want to mess up your absolute zero, you can turn to incremental mode and that zeroes it at the point you're at right now. And you can move it up and down off of that. Um, and you can move it back, and when you're done, you can hit incremental absolute again, and it goes back to absolute. So you can see it's still zero at about this zero point down here. Another feature this has is it's got this little depth gauge. If you've got a, a groove farther down you want to do, you can use this and zero it. This is really flimsy feeling though, and I expect these little detents not to last uh, forever. Uh, they just kind of slide on there with a the friction fit. You can also adjust, uh, or you can set a measurement with this little lo knob, it locks it down. If you want to swap out the batteries, it's just this little spot right here. It pulls right out with your fingernail, and it's one CR2032 uh, battery again. And we'll set the depth of this router bit. You can see the ruler going up. There we are. So I set up the router using this, and earlier I made a cut using that setup, and you can see my depth here is 0.249. So it's within one one thousandth of an inch of the right depth uh, that I set it to using that depth gauge. And that could be, I mean, it's probably the depth gauge that was a little bit off, um, but it could be the router as well. Um, so within one one thousandth of an inch is pretty good in my book. So overall impression of this is I really wish more of it was made out of metal. Um, these magnets aren't very strong. 
Um, but for the most part, I've gotten good accuracy out of it. All right, so let's wrap up. Uh, these digital calipers, they're usually around $18. Uh, I would definitely recommend these tool, this tool. It's a very accurate digital caliper. It's easy to use, great price point. Uh, the digital angle finder, I would absolutely recommend this one as well. If you've got small angles to do, uh, you want to do precise layout, this works really well for that. Uh, and these are around $19 usually. I think they're worth it. The mini digital protractor, I think it's out of stock right now, but it was around $12 to $15. Um, that's about the cheapest I've seen one of these little digital protractors for, but it's really slow, doesn't have a backlight, not accurate, and it's got only button batteries, not AAA batteries. So this one I don't really recommend because I think there are better options out there if you're willing to spend just $10 more. So this digital height gauge is about $20. Uh, there's a few different manufacturers that make the same exact one. TacLife has one of the cheaper options though. I think they come from the same factory, same molds, everything. They just put a different brand name on it. Uh, the magnets on the bottom are a little weak uh, and I don't like that the fact that the ruler is made primarily out of plastic with a little metal inlay. So uh, it's, it's probably gonna get chewed up over time on the bottom, which will affect accuracy in the long run, but right now it seems to be getting me pretty good results. Uh, so $20 isn't too bad, um, but I, I would like to see a metal ruler on this. Even if it's a few bucks more, uh, I think it would be better for the longevity of the tool. So hopefully this review was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.